And Moses went up from the plains of Moab, unto the mountain of Nebo, to the top of Pisgah, that is over against Jericho. And the Lord showed him all the land of Gilead unto Dan, and all Naphtali, and the land of Ephraim and Manasseh, and all the land of Judah, unto the uttermost sea, and the south, and the plain of the valley of Jericho, the city of palm trees, unto Zoar. And the Lord said unto him, This is the land which I swear unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob, saying, I will give it unto thy seed. I have caused thee to see it with thine eyes. Thou shalt not go over thither. The tribe of Naphtali is one of the few tribes that is low-key and unproblematic in the scriptures. When it comes to the awakening, the tribe of Naphtali is at the forefront of the missing tribes. The main reason the tribe of Naphtali is at the center of controversy, the doctrines of devils created in the awakening by the workers of iniquity. Israelites, you have to come to the realization not all in the awakening was awakened by the Most High. There are many disciples of Satan in the awakening creating doctrines that is causing the people of the Most High to stumble. The scriptures made it clear that Satan's ministers transformed themselves into ministers of righteousness. For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. Israelites, it is important to ask the Most High for a double portion of the spirit of discernment, as well as wisdom, to overcome the arrows coming from the Satans and the workers of iniquity in the last days. The disciples of Satan created many popular doctrines in the awakening that has become a stumbling block to many Israelites. The doctrines of devils is misleading many and increasing the sins of the Israelites. The word of the Most High said, be careful about what is popular with the world. What is popular with the world is an abomination with the Most High. And he said unto them, ye are they which justify yourselves before men, but God knoweth your hearts. For that which is highly esteemed among men is abomination in the sight of God. The tribe of Naphtali, as well as all the twelve tribes, are part of a widely circulating doctrine of devil that stems from the false twelve tribe chart in the awakening. The testament of Naphtali will put an end to the false twelve tribe chart. The disciples of Satan claim the modern people living in Argentina and Chile are from the tribe of Naphtali while other charts say the tribe of Naphtali are the Hawaiians and many other modern nations. The disciples of Satan don't know the whereabouts of the tribes. The workers of iniquity can't agree on the location of the 12 tribes. The word of the Most High say, when two agree on any matter on earth, it shall be done for them. None of the disciples of Satan agree on the whereabouts of the 12 tribes. Again I say unto you, that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. Israelites, the Most High is not the author of confusion. Since there is a lot of confusion surrounding the charts, anyone that served the Most High should know that the twelve tribe charts are not of the Most High. The charts were created to fulfill the lusts of some Israelites' hearts. Israelites, the creators of the various twelve tribe charts, know that the charts are not accurate. However, they will promote the charts. Does the fruits, the creators of the chart and all who follow the charts produce, are they of the Most High or of the Satans? Wherefore, by their fruits ye shall know them. Israelites, remember, not everyone in the awakening that is teaching and leading our people were called by the Most High. Many people are following trends. Israelites, that is why you must separate yourself from the rebels among us. In this walk, you must be set apart. The community of Israelites that have separated from this world and returned to serve the Most High in the spirit and in truth is small. 
That is why narrow is the road that leads to life. The tribe of Naphtali is not separated from his brethren in the northern kingdom. The book of Asterisk let us know that the northern kingdom went into captivity together. Once the Israelites in the northern kingdom decided to go to a place where no men have dwelled to worship and serve the Most High, they were all together. Those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of Osi, the king, whom Salmanazar, the king of Assyria, led away captive. And he carried them over the waters, and so came they into another land. But they took this counsel among themselves, that they would leave the multitude of the heathen, and go forth into a further country, where never mankind dwelt. The twelve tribe chart shows the Israelites are scattered in North, Central, and South America only. The Israelites are in every nation. The Most High will gather his people from the four corners of this world. The scriptures let us know the tribe of Judah is the only tribe that remained after the Most High removed the other tribes from his presence. The Most High sent the king of Assyria to remove the children of Israel from his presence. Once the tribe of Judah continued to sin, the Most High sent Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, to remove the tribe of Judah from his presence. In his days, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, came up. And Jehoiakim became his servant three years. Then he turned and rebelled against him. And the Lord sent against him bands of the Chaldees, and bands of the Syrians, and bands of the Moabites, and bands of the children of Ammon, and sent them against Judah to destroy it, according to the word of the Lord which he spake by his servants the prophets. Surely at the commandment of the Lord came this upon Judah to remove them out of his sight, for the sins of Manasseh according to all that he did. At that time, the servants of Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon came up against Jerusalem, and the city was besieged. And Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon came against the city, and his servants did besiege it. For through the anger of the Lord, it came to pass in Jerusalem and Judah, until he had cast them out from his presence, that Zedekiah rebelled against the king of Babylon. The scriptures reveal to us in the book of Kings that heathens are living in the territories the 12 tribe of Israel inherited. The same heathens the king of Assyria placed in Samaria and all the regions the Israelites dwell are now proclaiming to be Israelites today. By now you should know the heathens who claim to be us are not but of the synagogue of Satan. The Most High has been waking up his people in waves. There are many people coming into the awakening, creating doctrines that is not of the Most High. The awakening is plagued with doctrines of devils. Israelites, that is why you must use discernment in everything you hear. If you're unsure, don't be afraid to go into the presence of the Most High and ask for confirmation. The Most High will tell you everything you want to know. Don't scout the internet for answers. You must seek the face of the Most High for answers. Once you ask the Most High in prayer, let the Most High lead you to his anointed to confirm. Scouting the internet for answers will further lead you into sin. Israelites, do not perish for a lack of knowledge. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. In the testament of Levi and Dan, both Hartriach made it clear that their tribes would mislead their brethren. Levi said his sons would void the laws of the Most High and lead the Israelites astray. The creators of the twelve tribe charts is leading their people astray. Until they repent and publicly set the record straight, they will be held accountable for their sins. In addition, they will have the blood of many on their hands. Dan said his sons would be right there with the Levites, manipulating the tribe of Levi. Yea, ye shall bring a curse upon our race, because the light of the law which was given for the lightning every man, this ye desire to destroy by teaching commandments contrary to the ordinance of God. The offering of the Lord ye shall rob, and from his portion shall ye steal choice portions, eating them contemptuously with harlots. And out of covetousness ye shall teach the commandments of the Lord. Wedded women shall ye pollute, 
and the virgins of Jerusalem shall ye defiled, and with harlots and adulteresses shall ye be joined, and the daughters of the Gentiles shall ye take to wife, purifying them with an unlawful purification, and your union shall be like unto Sodom and Gomorrah. And whensoever ye depart from the Lord, ye shall walk in all evil and work the abominations of the Gentiles, going a-whoring after women of the lawless ones, while with all wickedness the spirit of wickedness work in you. The very words of Levi and Dan, the progenitors of the tribe of Levi and Dan, is coming to pass in this generation. We have Israelites in the awakening creating misleading doctrines that is causing Israelites to stumble. You are what your father is. Doctrine is feeding the tribe of Dan's lust for lawless women, as well as the tribe of Levi's lust for strange women. All of this can be found in the Testaments of the Patriarch. Naphtali is the eighth son born to Jacob and Bilhah, Rachel's handmaid. Rachel called Bilhah's second son Naphtali because she felt that she was wrestling with her sister. Naphtali means wrestling or struggling. And Billa, Rachel's maid, conceived again, and bare Jacob a second son. And Rachel said, With great wrestlings have I wrestled with my sister, and I have prevailed. And she called his name Naphtali. The testament of Naphtali gave us more details about Naphtali's birth as well as the family genealogy of Bilhah and Zifla, Jacob's concubines. In the testament of Naphtali, Naphtali revealed that he was born on Rachel's lap. Rachel loved Naphtali. She prayed and asked the Most High to have a son from her womb, just like Naphtali. I was born from Bilhah, and because Rachel dealt craftily and gave Bilhah in place of herself to Jacob, and she conceived and bare me upon Rachel's knees, therefore she called my name Naphtali. For Rachel loved me very much because I was born upon her lap, and when I was still young, she was wont to kiss me and say, May I have a brother of thine from my own womb, like unto thee. Whence also Joseph was like unto me in all things, according to the prayers of Rachel. Joseph was the son given to her. Naphtali said to his children that Joseph is just like him. Because Naphtali and Joseph are alike, that is why we don't hear much about the tribe of Naphtali. Overall, Joseph was a good man of the Most High. The Testament of Dan revealed this. Joseph's character in the scriptures prove he was a stand-apart man that served the Most High. Naphtali is also a stand-apart man of the Most High. The testament of Naphtali revealed the family genealogy of Bilhah and Zifla. The Bible doesn't give us any information about the family background of Bilhah and Zifla. The scriptures in the Bible said they were handmaids to Leah and Rachel. Because of the competition between the two sisters, Leah and Rachel, Both decided to give their husband their handmaids as a second wife to bear children. And she gave him Billa her handmaid to wife, and Jacob went in unto her. When Leah saw that she had left bearing, she took Zilpah her maid and gave her Jacob to wife. Naphtali said what Rachel did on giving Bilhah to Jacob to bear children through her was sin. He said Rachel dealt craftily to get what she wanted. Nevertheless, Rachel did what she felt she had to do to compete with her sister Leah. Bilhah and Rachel were born on the same day. Now my mother was Bilhah, daughter of Rathias, the brother of Deborah, Rebekah's nurse, who was born on one and the self same day with Rachel. To the people who believe the Most High was taking strange women from different races to form the 12 tribes are wrong. The Most High strategically used a family. The scriptures reveal that Laban is Rebekah's brother. Rebekah is Jacob's mother. Rebekah, the wife of Isaac and Jacob's mother, is related to Abraham. When Abraham sent his servant to find a wife for Isaac, Abraham sent his servant to his family to find a wife for his son Isaac. And Abraham said unto his eldest servant of his house that ruled over all that he had, Put, I pray thee, thy hand under my thigh. And I will make thee swear by the Lord, the God of heaven, and the God of the earth, that thou shalt not take a wife unto my son of the daughters of the Canaanites, among whom I dwell. But thou shalt go unto my country, and to my kindred, and take a wife unto my son Isaac. Laban and Rebekah are related to Abraham. 
So far, we know that Abraham, Isaac, Laban, and Rebekah are indigenous black people. Jacob married Laban's daughters, his cousins, Leah and Rachel. All of the children born from Leah and Rachel are indigenous black people. Today, the 12 tribe charts is listing the tares that were planted among the wheat as Israelites. The scriptures made it very clear that Satan is the one that planted the tares among the wheat. The Most High did not want to uproot the tares. The Most High decided to let the wheat and the tares grow together until the end of the world. Once the end comes, the scripture said the Most High will gather the tares to burn them. Let both grow together until the harvest. And in the time of harvest, I will say to the reapers, Gather ye together first the tares, and bind them in bundles to burn them. But gather the wheat into my barn. If the Most High is going to burn the tares during the harvest, why are the so-called teachers who return to serve the Most High in the spirit and in truth listing tares, the children of the colonizers, as Israelites? Not only are they giving the heathens inheritance that don't belong to them, they are heavily pushing this doctrine in the awakening, causing many to stumble. The tribe of Dan is infamous for going against the laws of the Most High. In the Testament of Dan, the tribe of Dan made Israelites who don't descend from the tribe of Levi priests to their tribe. Since the testament of Dan revealed that his tribe would be scattered with Levi and Judah, I am not surprised that the ministers of Satan are including the heathens and tares, a people who don't belong into the Israelite bloodline. Remember, by their fruits you will know them. Bilhah and Ziphlah, the handmaids that had children for Jacob, are also related to Abraham. The testament of Naphtali revealed Rathias, the father of Bilhah, is related to Abraham. And Rathias was of the family of Abraham, a Chaldean, God-fearing, freeborn, and noble. The testament of Naphtali revealed that Rothias was bought by Laban. Laban gave Una, his handmaid, to Rothias to wife. She bore Zilpha and Bilhah. And he was taken captive and was bought by Laban, and he gave him Una, his handmaid, to wife. And she bore a daughter and called her name Ziphla after the name of the village in which he had been taken captive. And next she bore Bilhah, saying, My daughter, hasten after what is new, for immediately that she was born, she sees the breast and has hastened to suck it. We know that Zilpha and Bilhah are sisters. Not only are they sisters, they are related to Abraham and Jacob as well. The matriarchs to the twelve tribe of Israel are indigenous black women. The Most High did not use strange women to produce the patriarchs of the 12 tribes of Israel. Jacob married two sets of sisters within Abraham's family. The patriarch and the matriarch of the 12 tribe of Israel are not the mothers and fathers to the tares listed in the 12 tribe charts. Before colonization, the Latinos and Hispanics didn't exist. The whited out native Indians throughout the Americas were indigenous Hamites before their makeover. The most high scattered majority of the children of Ham that conspired to build the Tower of Babel. The indigenous natives in the Americas were Hamites. One of the signs placed on the Israelites is that they would live in their enemy's land, a land the ancestors have not known. The Israelite nation as a whole have been exiled from their land since the most high removed them from his presence. The Lord shall bring thee, and thy king, which thou shalt set over thee, unto a nation which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. And there shalt thou serve other gods, wood and stone. The non-indigenous black people listed on the twelve tribe charts are not Israelites. They are the children born to the colonizers. The tares are also the children produced with the strange women and men. They are known as mixed race, biracial, Quajun and Octoroon. The children of the colonizers are the people the synagogue of Satan used to replace the indigenous black people worldwide. The Satans used the children of the colonizers to change the appearance of the indigenous black natives living all over the world. I will never understand how Israelites in the awakening are giving the holy Israelite heritage to heathens and the tares. They make it seem as if the holy bloodline have no value. 
If the Israelites pushing these doctrines were awakened by the Most High, they wouldn't promote nor create the false charts. Israelites, that is why I say to you, not all people in the awakening were awakened by the Most High. I know this may be hard truth for some people, but the truth must be heard. That is the only way history will correct itself. In addition, the truth of the Most High's words is sanctifying his people to set them free. The Most High said, everything hidden and all the secrets of the workers of iniquity will be exposed. For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. Let the truth of the Most High's words be revealed to set the people free. All of the 12 tribes are indigenous black people and they remain black until this day. The scriptures confirm. Israelites, do not follow the false charts. All the patriarchs from the seed of Adam have a tradition of gathering their children to them before they transition to the afterlife. In the gathering, the fathers would bless his children and prophesy to his children. Before Jacob transitioned to the afterlife, he gathered all of his sons to bless them and prophesied about their fate in the latter days. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourselves together, that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. Gather yourselves together, and hear, ye sons of Jacob, and hearken unto Israel your father. Naphtali is a hind let loose, he giveth goodly words. Jacob said Naphtali is a hind let loose, he will give goodly words. A hind is a female deer. What did Jacob mean when he said Naphtali would be a hind let loose? In the testament of Naphtali, Naphtali said he was swift on his feet like a deer. Deers are known to become mobile a few hours after birth because of the danger that lies if they are not quick on their feet. Naphtali was swift and quick like a hind. Naphtali said, Jacob appointed him for all messages because of his goodly words. And I was swift on my feet like a deer. And my father Jacob appointed me for all messages, and as a deer did he give me his blessing. The testament of Naphtali revealed his gifts with words. Naphtali gave his children sound advice before he transitioned to the afterlife. Naphtali said to his children to not change the orders of the laws of the Most High. Naphtali said the Gentiles and the fallen watchers have changed the orders of their nature. Sun and moon and stars change not their order. So do ye also change not the law of God in the disorderliness of your doings. The Gentiles went astray and forsook the Lord and changed their order and obeyed stocks and stones, spirits of deceit. But ye shall not be so, my children, recognizing in the firmament, in the earth and in the sea and in all created things, the Lord who made all things, that ye become not as Sodom, which changed the order of nature. In like manner, the watchers also changed the order of their nature, whom the Lord cursed at the flood, on whose account he made the earth without inhabitants and fruitless. In the testament of Naphtali, Naphtali revealed his children would depart from the Most High, following after the Gentiles, and they would do all the wickedness of Sodom. Sodom is the city that lusts after strange flesh and changed the order of their nature. The tribe of Benjamin also fell into sodomy. These things I say unto you, my children, for I have read in the writings of Enoch that ye yourselves also shall depart from the Lord, walking according to all the lawlessness of the Gentiles, and ye shall do according to all the wickedness of Sodom. Just because the tribe of Benjamin and Naphtali fell into sodomy, this doesn't mean all the Israelites from those tribes are into sodomy. Naphtali said his children will go into captivity and they will serve their enemies. The tribe of Naphtali will bow down with every affliction and tribulation until the Most High consumed them all. And the Lord shall bring captivity upon you, and there shall ye serve your enemies, and ye shall be bowed down with every affliction and tribulation, until the Lord have consumed you all. Naphtali said after his tribe become diminished, they will return to the Most High, and the Most High will bring them back into their land. After the tribe of Naphtali come to their land again, they will forget the Most High. The Most High will scatter them upon the face of this earth. And after ye have become diminished and made few, 
Ye return and acknowledge the Lord your God, and he shall bring you back into your land according to his abundant mercy. And it shall be that after that they come into the land of their fathers, they shall again forget the Lord and become ungodly. And the Lord shall scatter them upon the face of all the earth until the compassion of the Lord shall come, a man working righteousness and working mercy unto all them that are afar off and to them that are near. The Most High revealed to Naphtali the fate of his people in the spirit realm, his dream life. Israelites, let me remind you to pay attention to your dreams. The scripture said the Most High speak to his people in the spirit realm, your dream life. Naphtali said when he was 40 years old, he had two visions. To summarize his visions, the Most High revealed to him the Israelites would go into captivity and be scattered. The nations who will possess the 12 tribes are identified in his vision. Israelites, none of the tribulation that came upon our fathers were withheld from them. Our fathers knew what would take place in the latter days. Just like we know what will take place in the end times because of the scriptures written for us by our ancestors under the influence of the spirit of the Most High. The Most High tell us the end from the beginning to prepare his people. For in the 40th year of my life, I saw a vision on the Mount of Olives on the east of Jerusalem that the sun and the moon were standing still. And I saw, for I was there, and behold, a holy writing appeared to us, saying, Assyrians, Medes, Persians, Chaldeans, Syrians shall possess in captivity the twelve tribes of Israel. The nations mentioned can be found in the second book of Kings. The second dream showed that Jacob and his sons were standing by the sea, and a ship came with no captain. The name on the ship was the ship of Jacob. They got on the ship and the weather conditions were horrible. Joseph fled away on a little boat and the rest of them were divided on nine planks. Judah and Levi were together. All of them were scattered unto the ends of the earth. After Levi prayed, the storm stopped and they reached land in peace. And again, after seven days, I saw our father Jacob standing by the sea of Gemniah and we were with him. And behold, there came a ship sailing by without sailors or pilot, and there was written upon the ship, the ship of Jacob. And Joseph fled away upon a little boat, and we were all divided upon nine planks, and Levi and Judah were together, and we were all scattered unto the ends of the earth. Then Levi, girt about with sackcloth, prayed for us all unto the Lord, and when the storm ceased, the ship reached the land as they were in peace. According to the testament of Naphtali, all the 12 tribes would be in captivity and scattered. Jacob said to Naphtali that his dreams would come to pass in the appointed season. When Naphtali had the dream, it was after Joseph was sold to the Ishmaelites. Jacob said to Naphtali that he knows that Joseph lived because he sees Joseph with Naphtali. Jacob longed to see Joseph. Naphtali felt guilty and wanted to tell his father that Joseph lived and was sold, but he was afraid of his brothers. These two dreams I told to my father, and he said to me, These things must be fulfilled in their season. After that, Israel hath endured many things. Then my father said unto me, I believe God that Joseph liveth, for I see always that the Lord numbereth him with you. And he said, weeping, Ah, me. My son Joseph, thou livest, though I behold thee not, and thou seest not Jacob that begot thee. He caused me also, therefore, to weep by these words, and I burned in my heart to declare that Joseph had been sold, but I feared my brethren. Naphtali said his tribe will bow down, meaning submit with every affliction and tribulation that come upon them. If you're a person who will compromise yourself when tribulation come upon you, the tribe of Naphtali may be your tribe. When Naphtali desired to tell his father that Joseph lived, but was afraid to tell his father because of his brothers, this revealed to me that the tribe of Naphtali is the tribe that will remain silent even if the truth can set a person free. There are so many Israelites in the awakening and all over the world that are too afraid to speak up. If you possess this character trait, the tribe of Naphtali may be your tribe. The tribe of Naphtali went along with whatever. If you don't stand for something, you will fall for anything. 
Despite the tribe of Naphtali complacent ways, the Most High used the sons of Naphtali to deliver the Israelites from oppression when Deborah was the judge over the Israelites. And the children of Israel cried unto the Lord, for he had nine hundred chariots of iron. And twenty years he mightily oppressed the children of Israel. And Deborah a prophetess, the wife of Lapidoth, she judged Israel at that time. Zebulun and Naphtali were a people that jeoparded their lives unto the death in the high places of the field. Like a hind let loose, the tribe of Naphtali are fierce warriors. All of the twelve tribes are fierce warriors. Although the tribe of Naphtali are fierce warriors, when they inherited their land, the tribe of Naphtali did not drive out the heathens and the Canaanites that dwell on the land. The tribe of Naphtali lived among the heathens and made the inhabitants on their land their servants. Neither did Naphtali drive out the inhabitants of Beth Shemesh, nor the inhabitants of Beth Anath, but he dwelt among the Canaanites, the inhabitants of the land. Nevertheless, the inhabitants of Beth Shemesh and of Beth Anath became tributaries unto them. The tribe of Naphtali is not the only tribe that didn't drive out the heathens from their land. The tribe of Manasseh, Benjamin, Ephraim, Zebulon, and Asher live among the Canaanites. The leader of the tribe of Naphtali was Ahira. And with you there shall be a man of every tribe, every one head of the house of his fathers. And these are the names of the men that shall stand with you, of Naphtali, Ahira, the son of Anan. These were the renowned of the congregation, princes of the tribes of their fathers, heads of thousands in Israel. The scriptures in the Bible don't give us a lot of information about the tribe of Naphtali. In the Testament of Naphtali, Naphtali said to his children to unite with Judah and Levi. Naphtali, and like all the other sons of Jacob whose testaments we have read, command their children to cleave to Judah and Levi, because through them shall salvation rise unto Israel. Do ye also, therefore, charge your children that they be united to Levi and to Judah, for through them shall salvation arise unto Israel, and in them shall Jacob be blessed. For through their tribes shall God appear dwelling among men on earth to save the race of Israel, and to gather together the righteous from amongst the Gentiles. Naphtali said, If his children will do what is right, both men and the angels will bless them, and the Most High will be glorified through them. If ye work that which is good, my children, both men and angels shall bless you, and God shall be glorified among the Gentiles through you, and the devil shall flee from you, and the wild beasts shall fear you, and the Lord shall love you, and the angels shall cleave to you. So far, all of the patriarch we've reviewed in their testament to their descendants, they command their children to obey the statutes and commandments of the Most High. Benjamin, Dan, and Naphtali command their children to cleave to Judah and Levi. The testament of Naphtali revealed that Judah and Levi will be together. The testament of Naphtali also revealed there's a remnant of Israelites from all the tribes in the diaspora, as well as in the land the Israelites sojourned when the Assyrians took them captive. The Israelites went to live in a land no men dwell. Today we know that is West Africa. From West Africa, many of the tribes were scattered throughout the whole world via the slave trade just like the ship of Jacob Naphtali saw in his vision. And behold, there came a ship sailing by without sailors or pilot, and there was written upon the ship, the ship of Jacob. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships, by the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. Israelites, now that we know some of the characteristics of the tribes, do you believe the nations and the modern people, the disciples of Satan, claim to be our people on the 12 tribe chart is correct? Israelites, do you see why you need the spirit of discernment? Satan has waged war with the seed of Adam. It doesn't matter if you're in the awakening or outside of the awakening. Satan will come through any door you leave open and any crack that is not sealed. You must put on the whole armor of the Most High. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. 
the word of the most high is correct when they say the ministers of Satan will transform themselves into ministers of righteousness. Just because a person have awakened to their true identity, it doesn't mean they will serve the most high in the spirit and in truth. Israelites, if the testaments of the patriarch is helping you on your journey, don't be afraid to read the testaments for yourself. Make sure the Holy Spirit is guiding you. The truth is out there for all who want to be free by the truth of the Most High's words. Remember, the scripture said the truth shall make you free. Israelites, don't allow any worker of iniquity in or out of the awakening mislead you with doctrines of devils. Many are called, but only a few are chosen. The eternal God is thy refuge, and underneath are the everlasting arms. And he shall thrust out the enemy from before thee, and shall say, Destroy them. Israel then shall dwell in safety alone. The fountain of Jacob shall be upon a land of corn and wine. Also his heavens shall drop down dew. Happy art thou, O Israel, who is like unto thee, O people saved by the Lord, the shield of thy help. And who is the sword of thy excellency and thine enemies shall be found liars unto thee and thou shalt tread upon their high places <laughs>